Greetings and salutations, ranting engineer back. Sorry I've been away for a little while, I got busy with life. So this episode is about biofuels. Are they green? No, they are not. Anybody tries to sell you that is full of shit. Now, um, to make it easy, I'm going to break it into three types. We've got bio, biodiesel from tallow. We've got, we'll call it bio oils, which is basically from vegetable based oils and then ethanol, which everybody knows about. Now, why are they not green? They're hydrocarbons. You burn them, you create greenhouse gas. Now, let's start with tallow. I'm, I'm actually not against tallow, so people understand. It's essentially using old animal parts. It's, you basically take organic material, uh, guts, muscles, skin, whatever else. You use a bioreactor to make a biodiesel out of it. You know, get some waste products. Uh, you can use some of a fertilizer. The biggest problem with tallow plants, uh, biodiesel plants, is they're messy. They're smelly. Uh, you got to think about your handling, uh, your handling waste from abattoirs, for example, roadkill, whatever else you want to put in it. The point is you're starting basically with flesh to make biodiesel out of it. Now, I like in the sense that you are recycling essentially a waste stream. Uh, you're still creating a hydrocarbon that burns and creates greenhouse gases. Now, closely linked to that would be recycle of vegetable-based oils. So usually you take like, cooking oils. Uh, you send them to a facility you essentially purify it, you re-refine it, it's recycling. I look at that as more recycling than, than anything else. Now, once again, you burn this stuff, you still create greenhouse gas. You've got to use energy to purify the oil. You've got to filter it. You've got to use energy to re-refine it. So again, I'm painting a picture of there's no real green energies. They're just kind of shades of brown, which gets me to ethanol. So basically ethanol, you're taking plant matter, you're doing a type of fermentation. Again, I'm not going to go into great details. There's more to it. But essentially, you're, you're fermenting it uh, to create ethanol. Now, ethanol is arguably a pretty, pretty clean burning. It's not as clean as, say, natural gas, but it's clean burning. But if you yourself do research, and there's lots of papers, lots of information about, um, it's certainly not green. It uses resources that you got to make. My biggest beef is this. Actually, I'll back up. I've worked on a couple projects for this. The one that was out in Saskatchewan, they were attempting to take straw, which, depending who you talk to, farmers like that, straw is used more as a bedding material, but it can't be really used as feed, so it's essentially a waste product. It's just the stock of what you get off of, of say, wheat, barley, everything else. So if we take it as a waste stream, you combine it right, you put it into a type of reactor, you can get methanol out of it, or ethanol out of it, sorry. However, there's not a ton of carbohydrates in, in straw, so to keep the reactors going, they've got to put basically good feed in. And I'm like, okay, ethanol out of a waste resource, I like that idea. But if we're taking good quality food, basically grains and stuff, and we're using that to make the bioreactor work, the fermentation reactor work, I kind of got a problem with that. Now, the major source of ethanol is corn. Um, there's a lot of controversy in the papers about, well, you're deforesting, which uh, they take, trees take in CO2 and convert it. Um, corn does too. So it's called a CO2 sink. It gets a little complicated. That's why they're bantering along enough. My biggest thing is this. Corn is used all over the place. I'm, I'm not a fan of high, cor uh, high fructose corn syrup, but it's a part of society. However, that land that's dedicated to making a greenhouse gas emitting source could be used to provide food for other people. So I want to think about that. Um, is it a clean hydrocarbon? It's a burn cleaning hydrocarbon, but it still promotes greenhouse gas. And that's my point of this is... Even though they say, oh, ethanol is good for the environment, it still produces greenhouse gas. It's not like some magical unicorn fart again that just makes water and everything else. It is a good clean burning fuel. Now, like I said, a natural gas is the amount of energy you produce per unit compared to other hydrocarbons is not as high. So you lose some horsepower out of it. So overall, I'm okay... Personally, I'm okay with towel and recycle of, of the vegetable oils. It's reusing some waste products. 
I'm not a big fan of ethanol yet. Um, just the way that it's manufactured, the way it's done. Um, and you get into the papers. And again, the, the point of this is I'm not feeding you information. You need to go do your own research. What I'm pointing out is we've got all these energy sources. They're not all green. They can't be all touted. So I treat ethanol kind of like another variation of gasoline. It's just produced in a different way. We're using massive, massive amounts of corn. Um, it could be argued that fuel could be used to grow tomatoes, uh, strawberries, something else like that. So we've taken away land that could be used for a general food source using something specific for, for industry. And I guess that's kind of where I personally have a bit of a problem with ethanol. All right, I'm going to do another video right quick. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye.